Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all really well. Today's video is seven outfits that any age group can wear. I would actually say my style is quite classic. It does kind of cover all of those bases, but I really just wanted to share this video, not only for outfit ideas for all of you out there, but also just to show that classic style really suits anybody. Um, and I think you'll find a lot of these outfits just feel very classic, very chic, very polished. And that is a look that suits all ages, all generations. So I'm really looking forward to sharing these outfits with you. I would say as well that these outfits are quite seasonless too. I didn't want to go too winter heavy. One, because um, I know a lot of you don't necessarily live in cold climates, but two, so that you can kind of refer back to this uh, video at any time of year, and then make your own adaptations depending on where you live um, and what the climate is. So let's get into outfit formula number one. So the first one is wide leg trousers, round neck jumper, a tailored coat, and some trainers. So this works for so many different reasons. One, it's very comfortable, very casual. Two, it's something I think you'll notice through all the outfits because we are catering this to any age. I know older women don't like to show as much skin, maybe like to be a little bit more covered up while still creating a silhouette. And I think the wide leg trousers with more of a kind of slightly fitted jumper rather than too oversized is a good way to do this. And then with this outfit, you can adapt it in any way you want. You know, if you're a little bit older, you might want to go for a very simple, streamlined white trainer. If you're younger, you might want to go for something slightly chunkier, maybe more colorful. You might want to go for something slightly oversized on top, a more oversized coat. If you're older, you could do the tailored coat in a more fitted kind of way. And then this creates that kind of hourglass shape because you've got the tighter waistline with the wider at the bottom and then the wider at the top with the shoulder pads. Um, so it's a really nice one to do. And I also think the coat feels smart and put together, but you still feel comfy and casual with the trainers at the bottom. Next is a white shirt, some straight smart jeans and a loafer. And then you can add a blazer over the top of this if you want to, or you could go for a coat. Um, again, it's all about adapting it for your lifestyle. But I think this is a formula that just works so nicely for everyone. A shirt to me, a classic white shirt, is one of those pieces that anyone at any age can wear, no matter what your gender, it suits you and looks smart, no matter what your age, it suits you and looks smart. So I think a white shirt is the ultimate classic wardrobe staple. And then with some straight smart jeans, if you're younger, of course, jeans is probably your go-to. And then if you're a bit older, you can go for a jean that's maybe a bit smarter or maybe you prefer to go for a jean that's a little bit smarter. So a dark wash, straight leg is a really nice way to do that. And then loafers, I've gone for something a bit chunky here from Flattered, but you don't have to do that chunky look. You could go for a more kind of tailored, streamlined looking loafer. Tailored loafer? More streamlined looking loafer. So like I say, not only can you adapt these outfits um, for your season, but you can also adapt it depending on your age and just make those very small tweaks. You can add a belt to this if you want to, just to feel a little bit more smart and polished and put together. But this very basic outfit formula of smart jeans, shirt and loafers is a great option. You can pop a blazer over the shoulders or you can actually wear the blazer if you wanted to add that extra layer or a coat, etc., etc. Next is a pair of straight crop trousers, a striped top and some ballet flats. A striped top, again, a bit like the white shirt, is a real classic. Anyone can wear this. Again, no matter what your age, um, anyone can wear a striped top. Again, if you're older, you might wanna wear a longer sleeve and a high neck, but it's just all about making those small adaptations. These trousers, by the way, are the best black trousers ever. I've spoken about them many times before. They're my Philippa K. I think these are the Carly trousers in black. They really are the best best trousers, black trousers I have ever owned in this shape. Um, I would recommend sizing down. Um, so I think these come up as a 34 and normally in my 36, but they're so good. I absolutely love them, would highly recommend. They are a bit more of an investment piece, but the quality really is there and the shape and the style is timeless. 
So then I've paired them with some ballet flats. I've gone for my Mary Jane style ballet flats just to feel a little bit more updated, it's slightly more trend led. You could go for a very simple ballet flat if you wanted to. And then over the top, a trench coat would look really nice with this. And I think this is just showing through that all of the classics make up these great outfits, the basic simple outfit formulas that you can just wear on repeat throughout the rest of your life. Next is a shirt dress with a mid-heeled boot. So this is a more wintry shirt dress. It's a cord shirt dress from COS. Um, I think any shirt dress will work because you could remove the boots and add um, like a sandal if you go for a kind of cotton shirt dress in the summer. Um, but a shirt dress really is one of those timeless staples, again, that anyone could wear. It's just basically a dress version of the shirt, isn't it? So it really does complement most people. A shirt also gives a bit more definition around the neckline, gives a bit more structure, and in turn can feel a little bit more flattering than just like a knitted dress that can almost make you feel a little bit sack-like because it's just kind of loose. So this just gives you that structure. And if you wanted even more structure, you could add a belt with this over the top. I've gone for my Isabel Morant belt over the top. Um, any belt will do. And the mid-heeled boot, I think especially works nicely with this heavier fabric, slightly more of a wintry look. This is a great one you can kind of wear for workwear, but then at the weekends too. Um, and I think it's a look that really could suit anybody. You could layer it with a turtleneck if you wanted to. Just a really nice, easy throw together formula. Next is a pleated skirt, a buttoned up cardigan and boots. So I think what I've done here is not gone for a boot that's too chunky so that it really can be worn for any age. But like I say, if you want to kind of adapt this to how you feel in your personal style, you could go for a chunkier boot with this. You could go for a slimmer fitting boot than this. So it's just all about your personal taste as well. And then I've gone for the buttoned up cardigan. Um, I've not included a cardigan yet, but cardigans really, again, just a wardrobe staple that we all probably have a version of and anybody any age can wear a cardigan. I've gone for this smarter style of cardigan that I've buttoned all the way to the top. But I think a V-neck cardigan would also work nicely with this. I think as well, if you're more top heavy, V-neck will probably suit you a little bit better as it breaks up um, the kind of lines between the skin and the fabric a bit more. And then also you could go for the slightly higher neck like I've done, V-neck or lower um, rounded neck too. But I think the key here is to not go too chunky or long on top because the pleated skirt's got a lot of volume to it and the same with the boots. Maybe don't go too chunky because um, we just want to balance out that volume of the skirt. Next for the evening, this is definitely a look and a formula I've worn many times, and that is a higher neck long sleeve blouse, some wide leg trousers and a kitten heel. This is a classic uh, kind of fail safe outfit formula for me when I'm going out in the evening. All you need to do is add on some great earrings. I've gone for my Amazon very oversized silver ones just to give it that kind of boldness. But yeah, nice um, high neck blouse always just looks so classic and polished um, and put together. This particular one unfortunately is sold out but I'll be linking all alternatives below. Then I've gone for my white wide leg trousers but this like I say is just an outfit formula. You can go for any color or kind of adaptation of this. And then a kitten heel which Really just looks so classic. Again, any age, they feel very contemporary, I think, um, a kitten heel. I think it feels not too try hard and yeah, just has that cool element to it. Next we have a t-shirt and then a bit more of a kind of bombery padded puffer crop jacket with a tonal trouser. I think when you're going for this more relaxed look, these kind of uh, bombery style jackets are very in at the moment collarless, a little bit cropped and wider. I think when you're going for that, you want to try and bring in elements that feel a bit more stylish so you don't feel too casual and relaxed. And I think one way to do that is by going for some tonal trousers on the bottom. It just makes it feel smarter and more pulled together. Any shape of trouser will do, I think. But I do like these wider legs because they just balance out that top half really nicely. A t-shirt, such a staple, such a basic. And I feel like this video could equally be outfits for all ages as much as it could be kind of staple wardrobe pieces. It's just all about that kind of classic styling. And then I've just finished it off with some trainers. We're balancing the color a little bit, color sandwich going on with the white at the top, white on the bottom. Um, but it's also just very comfortable and fits in with that relaxed look. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts below, your favorite outfits, any suggestions for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe whilst you're here. We're creeping up to 850,000 subscribers, which is just insane. So uh, do subscribe whilst I've still got you here and I'll see you in my next video.